<laughs> What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech. I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot and fix a 70 inch Vizio LED TV. This has sound but no picture. Just like last uh, few weeks, I did a video how to fix a TV that had sound and no picture. We troubleshooted all the boards. Ended up being actually the LED strips, which is one of the harder repairs you have to do, um, or I had to do. And the reason why is because you have to take the whole TV apart and you have to um, actually remove the LCD panel from the TV set, which there's a chance that you can crack the panel and then the TV is done because the panel is worth like 80% of the cost of the TV or about. So anyhow, um, hopefully we don't have to go through that with this TV. We're gonna troubleshoot it and see what part is defective and how to where to get the parts from. So first thing you wanna do is plug in the power cord. And when you plug in the power cord, use caution. Don't touch anything that metal well, on this board. You can get shocked, there's high voltage right here. Now, as you can see, this is a sharp panel, even though it's a Vizio TV, which is actually common. Um, a lot of TVs don't use their own parts. Uh, Vizio is just one of them. Vizio uses uh, sharp when they make their bigger screens. All right, so once we plug in the power cord, there's power going to this power board, converts AC volts to DC volts going out to the main logic board over here. The main logic board basically controls your audio, video, and logic functions like on, off, channel up, menu, stuff like that. Then the, um, that goes out to the video, goes out to the TCOM board that controls your display panel. And they're connected right through these ribbon cable connections right here that you see right here. And that actually they're connected to the buff display buffer boards that are hardwired to the display LCD. And so let's go ahead and troubleshoot um, the board. So this is the power board, and actually on, built onto the power board is the LED backlight circuit. Sometimes you'll see a separate board for the LED backlight circuit called the LED driver board. On a regular traditional older LCD TVs, it's called inverter boards. On an LED TV, it's called LED um, driver board which is built onto the, this particular power board. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna actually turn on the TV. So let's go ahead and turn on the TV and hit power, turn off the light and see if we actually have a backlight that glows. And you can see, let's go ahead and turn off the lights. Yeah, see, we have a backlight, which is good. It's shining through the back of the TV. If you didn't have a glow on your screen, you can use the flashlight test I did in my uh, video a couple weeks ago. And if you have a dark image, then that's most likely your backlight circuit is out. But since we have a glow on the screen, that means our backlight circuit is functional. So that's one, um, that's one thing you could cross off. So part of troubleshooting is process of elimination. Let's go ahead and turn the TV on once again, and we're gonna check some voltages. All right, so I'm gonna put my black lead on a ground source, and it's all labeled right here. It's the blue wire. That's the TCON on. That's the signal to turn on the TCON board. If you get zero voltage when the TV's on, then you won't, your TCON board will never turn on, so you won't have a picture. So if you don't have voltage there while the TV's on, that means there's something wrong either with the power board or the main logic board, because there's a feedback voltage from the main logic board. Here's the 12 volts TCON power, and that's the green wire right here. And then there's the LED backlight on, and we're gonna test all those voltages. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna put my meter on a ground wire, which is uh, one, two, three, four, five wires up. One, two, three, four, this one, this black wire right here. So that's the ground source right there. And then we're gonna test TCON on. So let's go ahead and read that voltage. So my TCON on voltage signal is 3.3, which is uh, logic, which is good. And then the power is the TCON 12 volts. And that is getting, the TCON board should be getting power. So that's actually very accurate. Now when I hit the power button on the TV, it goes away. See how it drops when I hit the power button, now it's off and it's gonna drop down. Right now, the capacitors are draining because uh, the capacitors hold some voltage. All right, but that will go down to zero. So if you go down to right here, the logic, TCON on pin, and then hit power. And there we go, here's our 3.3 or 3.2 DC volts. 
And that's the, just for the heck of it, I know my LED backlight is working, but let's say yours is not. Let's go ahead and check it just, you know, this might help you out just so you know what voltages, sh you know, you should be getting. So the backlight, LED on. Let's go ahead and test that. That's a uh, one, two, three, four, five down. One, two, three, four, five down. Looks like the yellow wire that is getting 3.3 volts. So that's uh, the signal to turn on the backlight. Now over here, all right, so over here on the power board, it goes out to the backlight LED strips, this power. So if you want, let's say you, you weren't getting backlight glow. Let's go ahead and test that. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put my black lead on a ground source, which is right there. And then let's go ahead and test V LED one. So V LED one, we should be getting 164 DC volts, steady. Now if it was fluctuating, dropping up and down, then there's something wrong with the circuit. Now since it's 164 DC volts and it's steady, then it then it's most likely good. Let's try V LED one, that's 164 volts. V LED two should be the same, which is one, two, three, four, over. One, two. All right, and it looks like we're getting 164 volts also on V LED two plus. All right, V LED three plus, 164 volts DC, steady. And V LED three plus, let's read that. And that is also the same. So if that voltage was any higher, then you might have a bad LED strip. If that voltage is zero, then your LED cir backlight circuit is defective. So how a main logic board works is when you press the on button on this button panel right here, that will go through this ribbon cable connection right to the main logic board. So whether you're hitting on on your TV remote or on on the front of the panel, it goes through this ribbon cable connection right here and sends a signal to the CPU saying, hey, turn on. And then the CPU will tell the power supply to turn on. Now this will only happen if the main logic board has standby voltage. Without the standby voltage, this board is completely dead and it won't send the signal to the power board saying, hey, turn on. Now, if you had no power and the TV doesn't turn on when you press power, then you may have no standby voltage. And I'm gonna show you real fast how to check that. So on this chart right here, you have your 3.3V, which is the bottom pin right here. And so I'm gonna put my meter on a ground source right there and then check the standby voltage and we're getting standby voltage and it's steady. If it was fluctuating, you wanna check your um, voltage regulator on the power board. It's usually something that's you know on a heat sink like this. So anyhow, um, that's how you check your standby voltage. Sometimes it's 3.3 volts on some TVs, sometimes it's five volts DC on other TVs. Okay, so when I hit the power button, it sends a signal to the CPU and because the main logic board is getting standby voltage, the CPU is awake. So we already read the um, voltages on this cable. The next voltage I wanna read is the 12 volt TCON voltage going to the TCON board. The chassis of the TV is a good ground. And then I wanna put my red lead on pin one and I'm getting 12 volts on pin one on the TCON connection. And it's labeled pin one. It's actually, there's a number one and an arrow pointing to pin one. Uh, let's go ahead and check the other voltage on this connection and I'm getting 12 volts. So we know the TCOM board is getting voltage, it's getting a signal and let's see why it's not working. So we're going to have to take off this plate right here and see, um, check some parts. Let's go ahead and put our black lead on a good ground source. Uh, the TV is plugged in and press power on the TV. The backlight is on, so that I know the TV is on. Put my uh, black lead on a good ground source. That's a ground screw. My meter is in DC mode. And let's check and see if we have voltage going into the TCOM board from the main logic board. Should be 12 volts. And we have 12 volts. And it's steady. And let's check this solder pad. All these solder pads that you see right here, these are test points. They all lead to this connection, these, all these tiny connections. And let's check, I think this is 12. 
Yeah, so we got 12 volts on this. All right, let's go ahead and check the voltage going out of the TCOM board. And all these solder pads that you see right here, let me zoom in more. So all these solder pads that you see right here, they all lead to the LCD panel connection. And you got two, two connections going to the LCD panel. So let's go ahead and put my black lead on a good ground source. And yes, yeah, so we got our 12 volts. Let's see if we got our voltage going out to the LCD panel. So check these solder pads, these test points, zero volts. Zero, 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 point one should be six volts. Zero, 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 zero should be six volts. DC volts. Zero, 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 zero. So pin one through 11 looks like zero volts and should be around, I believe six volts. You got voltage going into the TCOM board and no voltage going out to the LCD panel. That's why you don't have a picture on the screen. Now after looking at the board, I do see a bad part. And let's go ahead and zoom in. I don't know if you guys can see that. or So I don't know if you can see that or not, but right here I see a bad part. And you notice that right here? Look at that. A burn hole. So it has a burn mark right through it. And it's reading shorted. So we're going to have to replace that, that's for sure. Yep, it reads both ways. 0 0.02 and reverse 0 0.02 so I contacted shop Jimmy they actually have this um, diode right here that just fell apart <laughs> me touching it <sighs> and um, it comes with this IC this is the repair kit for the TCOM board I'll leave a link in the video description below and so we're gonna replace both of them and I should get the parts in about like five days so hopefully uh, I'm going to make a part two and this is going to be a continued battle and hopefully uh, I'll fix this TV. If not, I'm going to be really, really depressed. That means it may have a um, defective LCD panel, which is a really bad thing. That's the most expensive part on this whole entire TV is the LCD panel. Or maybe it could be bad buffer boards on the LCD panel that are defective, which you can't really replace because they're hardwired onto the LCD panel. So stay tuned for part two to this video, which should be up around one or two weeks or so. And if this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. And if you know anyone that uh, needs help troubleshooting their TV, click on the share button below and share it to them. And subscribe to Tampa Tech for more how-to videos like this one.